Praise be to God. Welcome to our brief Bible reflection. I believe that the year is unfolding well on your side by the love and grace of God upon you. And I know that day by day you're experiencing the love of God and the favor of God in your going out and in your coming in. Continue putting your trust in him, he who changes not, he who is able to move situations and uh, uh, issues in our lives and he's never moved. Let us look at John chapter 1 verse number 6 to verse 10 but you reflect all the way to verse number 18 still reflecting on the deity of jesus christ bible says there was a man sent from god whose name was john he came as a witness to bear witness about the light that all might believe through him he was not the light but came to bear witness about the light the true light which gives light to everyone was coming into the world he was in the world, and the world was made through him, yet the world did not know him. I've read up to verse number 10. Jesus Christ is the true light. He is the true light that shines to everyone. Looking from verse number 6, we see that there is this man called John, who is said to have been sent from God. And John came to bear witness about the light that all may believe through him, not in him, but through him. So John was an agent. John was a representative. God, uh, God used him to reach out to many. And verse number eight again says, he was not the light, but came to bear witness about the light. What do we learn from this? John did not take the position of Christ, nor he took his position as a representative of the kingdom of God. Wherever you are, God has placed you there to be his representative, to be his witness. Allow yourself to be used of the Lord and don't take the position of Christ. Let Christ be Christ and let yourself, allow yourself to be his witness. Verse number nine says that the true light which gives light to everyone was coming into the world. Jesus is the true light. He was coming into the world and this true light is able to shine upon everyone. He's not limited. He's able to shine upon everyone. He was coming into the world. Verse number 10 says that he was in the world and the world was made through him yet the world did not know him brothers and sisters as we allow ourselves to be used of the lord as his witnesses also acknowledging this true light who is jesus christ in our lives let us know that we need to endeavor to know this light to love him and also to allow him to be god in our lives let us not be like this world that he was in the world the world was made through him, yet the world did not know him. Desire to know this true light. Bible says in verse number 12 that all those who believed in him, he gave them power or the right to become, to be called children of God. And when we believed in him, we can bear witness that our lives changed. Let us continue believing in Jesus Christ, giving us access the power and the right to be called children of God. In him, uh, we have received grace upon grace. This is what the Bible says in verse number 16. For from his fullness, we have all received grace upon grace. For the law was with Moses, but grace and truth came through Jesus Christ. Moses came with the law or given through Moses, but grace and truth came through Jesus Christ. Brothers and sisters, this Jesus, who is the true light, true light that shines upon everyone, through him, in his fullness, we have received grace upon grace. In our day-to-day -day endeavors, we need grace upon grace. Where can we find this grace upon grace? We can only find it in Jesus Christ, who is the true light. And again, after receiving the grace upon grace in your life, allow yourself to be used of the Lord as a witness of his doings. John never took the position of Christ. 
He actually, the Bible says in verse number 15, John bore witness about him and cried out, This was he of whom I said, He who comes after me ranks before me because he was before me. John acknowledged Jesus as Jesus. He gave him his position. Give Christ the right position in your life and your life will never be the same again. Allow yourself to be used of him. Let us bear witness of this light, the light that shines upon everyone. And we shall be receiving blessings from the Lord. Not only so, but we shall receive grace upon grace in our lives. God bless you. God be with you. God shine his face upon you and be gracious to you. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, God bless you. Amen.